Hey guys, it's Derek from the Olive Oil Co. Today we are making some amaretto granola and also some lemon meringue yogurt. Not the way you're thinking though. So first we are going to start with our amaretto granola. Of course you will need some amaretto so I always keep some Di Sirono on hand. Uh, for our extra virgin olive oil, you want a nice medium to robust intensity one, so we're using the Piqual from Alonso Estates in Chile. Uh, now we'll get to our amounts and all the ingredients, and remember, please go to our website for all of that to get everything that you need. So first we are starting with our oats. Next we are adding our brown sugar, basically just taking all your ingredients and throwing them all in a bowl together. We also have some whole almonds and some halved pecans that we're throwing in. We also have some sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds here. And we'll add our olive oil. And our amaretto. We also need some maple syrup. Just a little bit of salt. So once everything is nice and coated, you want to grab yourself a baking tray you want to preheat your oven to 300 degrees and we are going to bake this for half an hour. Uh, after 15 minutes, take a spoon and just mix it around and let it keep baking. Now for this next part, this is pretty interesting. Of the times that I've paired these two flavors together, I've been able to blow some people's minds. Uh, the lemon olive oil and the elderflower white balsamic, these two guys together taste exactly like lemon meringue pie. Pretty close anyways. But what we're going to do is we're going to add that to our yogurt and then put that yogurt on top of our granola and have a nice little uh, dessert snack. So let's get to making our yogurt. So first things first with our yogurt, you can use either plant-based or dairy yogurt. Just make sure that it is one, unsweetened, and two, unflavored. Because we want to have the flavors of the balsamic and the oil really come through. So first we have this and we're going to throw our elderflower balsamic in. And then our lemon oil. Those are in. Give it a little mix. Interesting thing when we tried this for the first time, you, you'll see that the yogurt becomes even silkier, smooth. It's really nice. Almost like that silky meringue you get on top of the pie. Now the granola is done. What we did was we actually had to put it on two pans and let it bake for about 45 minutes. Um, we've got it to a nice color here. If you want it a little darker, obviously you can do it to your preference. Uh, the last thing we are going to add to this is some ground flax seed. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit of that in, mix it all up, and then we'll get ready to uh, do all the light, nice layers in our glass. So for this, I wanted to get nice and fancy, so I thought, why not go with a nice tall wine glass? Uh, first, I'm gonna pour some granola into the bottom. And we'll just take our yogurt that we have, pour it right over top. And just to finish this off, I'm just going to grab a little pinch with my hand and just get some of those right on top here. And I think that'll do it. I have waited to dig into this. Uh, lemon meringue pie is actually one of my favorite pies, so of course, let's get our little bite here. Let's make sure we get some 
roll on the bottom with this. Now you could also maybe just plop a few little blueberries on top if you want to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh man. That is sheer deliciousness. That, the elderflower and the lemon oil, I love it when you put those together. It's just, it's so fresh. So easy to make, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and this recipe. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. We're using the Piquald from Australia. No, not Australia. Chile. Sorry, my bearded dragon's very. <laughs> She's shedding right now. She's very distracting. So that's why we're using the Piqual from the Alonso estate in Chile. Did I say Chile in Australia? I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Oh, that's recording. <laughs>